the Grover La Reserve. It's a Cabernet Shiraz blend. It's got a, it's a pretty well re reputed wine in India. And it's actually a lot of, it's won a lot of critics awards as well. Many people try to consider this as one of the best red wines. Let's find out. Look at the color first of all. The color is beautiful. Nice. Uh, dark ruby red it's got that purple hinge as well to it full bodied for sure but the shiraz as well has come inside and yeah that's a good color over there let's have a smell some uh cedar oak sort of a smell hitting you off the bat not too much fruit that's interesting let's try and see if we get that on the clockwise style berries there is definitely some blackberries black currant uh not very very fruity as well it's got a good blend i i can understand why people call this one of the top indian red wines out over there let's have a taste not a lot of alcohol 14 percent. it's not hitting you in the face with it Tannin structure is decent, not very tannic. This is a pretty decent wine. It's got a seven second finish, which means it's a pretty good wine for a, from a country where it's coming from, from India, Nasik Valley. This is a pretty interesting wine. Uh, it's, it's a 2017, it's aging pretty well. It's not got too much fruit on it, which is very unique for Indian styles because usually Indian red wines have a lot of fruit on it. Mm, this is pretty good. If I had to pair this with food, I would pair this well with some game meat, maybe like uh, a rabbit or some uh, some other dishes, uh, like chicken as well. This will go well with a very good chicken dish with some tomato gravy. Uh, this is priced at around 1,030 rupees, which is amazing for its price as well compared to its competitors. If I had to rate this on 10, I'm gonna go out on a limb here, eight, eight on 10. Very impressive wine, uh, food friendly, very light to drink. You can actually finish a bottle of it and won't feel very drunk. Well, that's it for today. Cheers.